up? It's Jason here from the IT Folk and today I'm doing a, a really quick video for you, um, really just to help you out in an emergency situation if you have run out of space on your C drive, if you've hit that magic zero or you're running really, really low uh, and your computer is running slow. Um, the reason your computer is running slow when you get to that stage is because Windows does does use uh, a portion of your um, your hard drive in order to, to run um, properly. Um, so it's very important that you get some space freed up so that you can get yourself some breathing space there um, to, to plan a long-term solution. Now, speaking of long-term solutions, this video is not a long-term solution. This is a quick fix. This is to get you to your computer to a stage where you can actually start working on it and start looking a bit deeper at what sort of files you're going to you're going to remove. Um, so what I want to do straight away is I want to just get cracking on using some of the inbuilt features of Windows and like all my videos everything is generally very st simple straightforward to do and it's not going to cost you any money you just need to follow the the instructions so the inbuilt tool that not a lot of people know about especially you know novices if you're new to the um to, to computers or you just don't really un don't have a an in-depth knowledge of them like i do um what you want to do is you want to get to um, the search window you want to click on that. If you don't have the search window, by the way, some people do have their system set up slightly different and they, they remove that search window. All you need to do is press the Windows key on your keyboard. Uh, that's the one that has a picture of a window on it. Uh, it's usually left of the space bar next to Alt. Press that and the S button, S for search, and that should bring up your, your search window. It's the easiest way to find things on, on Windows 10. The tool we're looking for is a tool called Disk Cleanup. So just type in Disk Oh, excuse me, disk, if I can spell, what am I doing wrong? There we go. Uh, we want to click in, we want to type in there disk and it should come up as the best match. If not, then just add clean in there and it should definitely come up as the best match. So what we want to do is we want to click on this. We want to open up that program and it's going to ask you which uh, which drive you want to you want to you want to run the cleanup on. Obviously, we want to run it on the C drive. Um, so select that and click OK. You'll get this little box pop up. It will start calculating. Um, if you've never run this program before, that will take some time. OK, it will take a few minutes to calculate, maybe even longer. Um, so just be patient, let it run. And eventually it will come up with this little uh, this window here. In here, you're going to make a selection of what you want to clean up. Now, you're trying to free up as much space as possible, as quickly as possible. So just click every single box. Everything in there can be safely deleted. Now, what you'll see. Here is I'm not going to be saving very much space on this because I use this tool regularly. Um, but if you've never used it before or you haven't used it in a long time, uh, you will probably be looking at clearing up about one to three gig worth of data, which is perfect. That's really all you need to, to kind of free up your system again and, and be able to crack on with a, a longer term solution. Um, the temporary files is going to be your biggie. That'll be the one that has the most the most data in it that you can that you're going to you know you're going to gain the most benefit from by by selecting that. So once you've selected that, go ahead and click the OK button. It's going to ask you if you want to delete these files. Yes, you do. So click delete. Everything's safe and let it do its its cleanup. Now again, on my computer, it's a nice quick computer, nice and clean. Uh, I run that tool regularly. That was nice and quick. On your computer, if you've not run that tool before, again, that can take a good few minutes to to clean. But once it's clean, you should have freed up a good few few gigs. Um, and that should get your system to a situation where we can uh, clean up some more files without it being really, really slow. One of the other tools we're going to use, it's a free uh, tool called CCleaner. Now you can get that on the internet. Just click on whichever browser you use and you want to do a search. You want to search CCleaner. And that will take you to a list of a list of websites, and the one you're looking for is the one that is periform.com. Okay, make sure it's that, not any of the other ones. Some of these may have um, fake programs that are just going to infect your machine. So it's Periform, that is the official website of this particular piece of software. Um, so click on that. That will take you to the download page, and the only one you need is the free version. Okay, so just don't worry about the other ones. Just download and install the free version. I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed on my on my computer. So you can go ahead and close that down, and then what you want to do is run CCleaner. 
Now, C Cleaner when it opens up does look a bit complicated. There's loads of things in there. You're thinking, oh my God, what do I, what do I, uh, what do I check? Well, if you want, you can pause this video and you can have a look through the menu that I've got here of of what I've actually uh, what I've actually selected. Um, depending on what browser you're using, I use uh, Google Chrome. That's actually hidden in the applications, but we'll go through that in a second. Um, if you're using Microsoft Edge, then you can safely check all of these things here. Some of them you might not want to. You might not want to lose your download history. It wouldn't worry too much about that. It's not. Um, it, there's not going to be a lot of data in there that's taking up a lot of space. The main one you would probably want is your internet cache. Um, same with uh, same with Internet Explorer. In this case, it would be temporary internet files. And God knows why you'd be using Internet Explorer. But anyway, if you are, um, that's the, really the one that you're looking for. And the other ones, again, there's no harm in, in, in checking them. Windows Explorer, again, have a look through. Uh, you want to just check everything on there. Um, and System, again, everything. And an empty recycle bin, temporary files, all that sort of stuff, memory dumps, get it all checked. To be fair, the disk cleanup that you've run has already tackled a few of them, but there's no harm in just checking them anyway and making sure that everything's everything's getting clean. Advanced, I do Windows events, logs, and all prefetch data. Then you want to flick on to the applications. Now, this has a list of common applications. Um, that, that you you generally find on Windows. So you've got your Google Chrome there. I use Google Chrome. Internet Cache is a biggie. That's the one that'll have all the um, all the, 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 the big files in there. Anytime you've visited a website, every image that's actually appeared on your screen will be stored in that cache. So if you've not cleared that for a long time, it'll be a pretty big file. So go ahead and check that as well. I've deliberately left internet history out because I, I like to, you know, I like to keep a, a log of that. Cookies as well. Um, last download location. Uh, these are things that I, you know, save passwords, all that sort of stuff I just keep in there. Windows Store, check it all. I never use it. I don't think anybody does, do you? Um, applications, if you've got specific applications, you might want to check some of these, but again, it's not really essential for the, for the purpose of, of this um, tutorial. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't really worry about anything else on there. Uh, Windows, um, Windows search word part red edit. Yeah, again, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really worry about that. So once you've done that, click the analyze button, and it should then tell you what sort of what space you're going to get, what, 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 how, what size of the files uh, in total for each of these things. Now, again, on mine, it's all very small um, because I run this thing nightly, um, but for you, you might have some quite. Ex ex extensive um, folders there. So once you've done that, go ahead and click Run Cleaner. Uh, it will, again, give you a warning. It's going to delete these files and go ahead and and run it. Now, if you've got a browser open, it, you might get a pop-up saying, we need to close the browser. Do you want to close it? Just click yes. Everything's everything's good. Um, so there, that's, that's that done. You've now saved, you now managed to free up even more space. Um, the final thing I want to talk you through is how to find large files large files that you've maybe created on your c drive and the easy way to do that is just go into your um windows explorer now that's on my computer that's that little uh icon that little folder icon on the taskbar if you don't have that if you've removed it deleted it the easiest way to get into file explorer or windows explorer is to press the windows key and e for explorer and that will bring up exactly the same uh, same window. Um, so File Explorer, what we're going to do is we're going to go into this PC and on my computer, um, we can see that I am running a bit low on free space. Um, it is a solid state drive, so I do constantly have to, to manage that. Um, I've got 2.36 gig free. That, that's okay. I'm quite happy with that. But if I wanted to, if I was on zero or I, I, you know, I only had like a, a gig free and I wanted to free up more, then I would want to start looking at which files I can I can safely delete. So click into your C drive. Um, don't worry about what's presented here. What we're looking at is the search bar. This is our magic search button. And there's some phrases that we can use to actually pinpoint certain files. The, the common, the, the, the obvious one is large files. So the way you search for large files in Windows 10 and File Explorer is just to type in the word size. Okay, then you want to follow it with a colon and you'll see that you get a, a selection of uh, a menu selection there from tiny to gigantic. Now, the, the irony here or the, 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 
the hilarity here is that 120 meg is seen as gigantic. It's not it, obviously these this hasn't changed since um, since the days of XP. Uh, big files now are in their kind of gigabytes um, or like 500 megabytes, and that's what we're going to search for. We're going to search for anything over 500 gig. You can scale it down. You can start off at 100 gigs, uh, 100 megs, 200 megs, 300 megs, but we're going to be looking at 500 meg. So the way you do that is you just type in the greater than sign. So this is any file that's greater than this particular size. I'm going to type in 500 megabytes. That will then do a search through the C drive and locate any file that's uh, 500 meg. So we're going to let that do that now. Um, I'll probably cut this bit out of the video so that it just jumps to the end. Okay, so it's not quite finished yet, but it has picked up some large files here. Um, some of them I, I don't want to delete, um, but this one here is a video file. Uh, it's a, a game file from something. I'm not quite sure. I don't know why it's on my C drive because I generally don't um, record to my C drive. So what I want to do is I want to investigate that. I want to find out where that is. So I'm going to right click on it and go to open file location. And I can see that it is actually a shadow file from uh, the the, the uh, video editing software that I use. So I know I don't need that. I can delete that because I've already created the video. Um, but I'm not going to delete that just now because I want to show you something else. Um, obviously, on in a computer, uh, on a computer, the, some of the largest files that you can create our video files um, or some of the largest files that you may save our, our video files so we want to now look for specific types of files um, there's different ways you can do that for example you can if you wanted to search for every type of mp4 that you had which is a video file you do star dot mp4 and the star dot just basically means show me everything that is m which has the extension mp4 regardless of, of what its name is and as we can see straight away it's coming up with um with multiple clips that uh that i probably could delete so that's for finding specific file extensions that's fine for videos but if what if your video is like an avi or an mpeg um you know that's not going to show up in the in the search if you want to ch change it so that you can specifically find any kind of video, then you type in the word kind. Uh, I don't know why they didn't just use type, but kind. Again, colon. And again, you'll be given a, a list of things and you can just simply select video or you can type it in, whatever whatever is easier for you. Um, so now working on it, it's going to search through my C drive and find every file that is a, that is a, a video file. And then we can check the size check which ones we we want to get rid of uh, and then we can take it from there so there's that one that i found earlier everything else here these are all kind of these are all clips that come bundled with programs probably safe to delete them um, but they're not that big so i'm not going to bother with them uh, i'm just going to focus on this big one where is it gone uh, there we are i'm going to open file location and i know i don't need any of these ones here so i'm just going to delete them all and if you hold down the if you hold down the shift button, it will bypass your recycle bin. So again, just to demonstrate that, so I'm highlighting all of them. Hold down the shift button, hitting the delete button, and it will actually bypass the recycle bin. So it's not gonna because the recycle bin is effectively on your C drive, and anything you put in there will still stay on your C drive. So we're just gonna hit the shift button and permanently delete these videos. Uh, this one can't be the okay because that's currently the one I'm working on just now. So I'm going to cancel that, but I have got rid of the um, the big um, three gig one that's there. So if I now go back to my PC, I can see I now have 6.7 gigs of free data. And that's it. That is effectively all I needed to do to, to give me that breathing space that I needed to in order to get my system into a situation where I can then start looking through video files, looking through music files, any kind of large files, uh, I can go through them and maybe copy them over to, uh, to an external hard drive. I hope that's been beneficial, guys. It, there's nothing there's nothing complicated about it um hopefully you've got a little bit of breathing space now and you can crack on and and get on with um freeing up more more space and i'll see you in the next video